Hello everybody, it is JD here and welcome to today's Collect 2 Glory episode. It's been a few days, but that is not because I have not been playing this game. I have been playing this game a ridiculous amount because we have got so much to do on this Collect Glory journey. If you're new to the series, we are trying to be the first person to complete the Collect level in 2K23 My Team. Obviously right now you can't complete it, you can't even get close to completing it. Uh, you can get here, but you can't get here, can't get here, can't get here, and we don't know what this is, and you can't get here, and we don't know what that is yet. So we've still got time, and I don't think it's going to be over until Season 8. I think, like, Day 1, Season 8, they'll drop a set of something, and that'll be enough cards. So we've got 24 days, and let me tell you, I have been putting in work. So we're going to recap everything that's happened over the last few days, and actually on Friday, we opened up some packs... Did pull, obviously pulled a Dark Matter because they're 20% odds, but we actually made half a million MT, not on profit and packs, but we sold a card for half a million MT, which is very nice, which is why we are still at 8 million MT. So let me know down below, what are you playing in 2K these days? Um, you know, are these new spotlights for you? The all-time spotlights, they are new. Uh, it's day five today. I have played zero uh, games for it. Uh, but we've got so much other stuff to do. I don't really have the time. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for the daily videos and check out twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover to see this collect to glory grind live. And let me tell you, grind is the right word. So XP, let's start here. Well, it's nearly done. I could be there if we just did any of these challenges. So we're, we're, we're right there. So Zion will be here. Uh, in the next couple of days, and that is not a problem. I'm not really worried about XP. I'm not thinking about XP. It's just kind of there and is happening as we are going along our day. The basketballs. We have hit the unicorn ball. Oh, I hit the unicorn ball. I haven't even equipped it yet. Silly me. Uh, let me go equip the unicorn ball. How? How? How did I forget? Uh, I've got to find the thing now. But we did get the unicorn ball. 5,000 points, which is obviously ridiculous. Uh, and as you might have seen, we are just three wins away from getting the fireball. Holographic ball, don't care. One half badge, do not care. So, yeah, pretty good. Happy with the unicorn ball. Wanted it when it came out. 5,000 points, ridiculous. But we've got there. We then have the Cade Cunningham. And you might be thinking, what do you mean the Cade Cunningham? Yeah, the Cade Cunningham. I am putting in work. Well, I say I'm putting in work. The AI is putting in work. Um, as you can see right here, um, I have got a full 10-man lineup of these Shades of Cards. And I've twice just put it into the uh, Fundamentals Challenge, for, like inside scoring, which is like the post moves. The, the AI is never going to hit that. 12 minute quarters, AFK'd it. I just let them go to work. And to be fair, it's, uh, it's still going to take a long time. Let's not get it twisted. But it has at least made a little bit of dense. Like, I'm not obviously on my console. I'm, like, cooking dinner or whatnot. And let's see where we are at. So Jabari Smith, yeah, up to Amethyst and, and doing quite well at Amethyst. Jalen Duran up to Ruby now. Keegan Murray up to Ruby. Jalen Ivy nearly at Amethyst right now. So not too bad. The problem is steals on Jeremy Sohan, steals on Dyson Daniels, steals on Benedict Matherin, and steals on Johnny Davis. They're going to be the problem. Um, but the other ones, not too bad. So that is the Cade Cunningham grind. We then move over to domination, and I have completed two dominations. Now, the good thing about these dominations, you could AFK them, like, completely, like, literally, just set complete settings in, 3-2 zone, um, push the pace, crash your offensive boards, and then the AI would win by, like, 30 points. Full, full AFK. These ones, you are not allowed to play zone, which is just really annoying. And I don't understand why, it's because they're stupid, like, eras thing. But you can't play zone, which sucks. If you can't play zone, probably not going to win the game by AFKing. Haven't tried it yet here, but of course here it is on Hall of Fame difficulty. So I kind of doubt, and you play against a half-decent team. So I kind of doubt we can AFK those completely. Maybe for, like, a couple of uh, quarters, maybe a half. But I have got through two of the dominations, so I'm halfway there on the Dom grind. Clutch time! Over halfway there, that's the squad that I've been using. I play a lock on Lil Deng, which got like ridiculous height and length for the rest of the team. Magic, Jonathan Isaac, Taco and Wilt. And obviously don't, you know, you don't want to use the best players because the AI would then have the best players. So, you know, an Amethyst, Wilt, Pink Diamond, Taco, Pink Diamond Magic, 
I'm Jonathan Isaac, and I've stopped at 56 wins because at 56 wins, out popped this little fella right here. So we did get the RNG card from offline in season seven, which is perfect because that is what I wanted to play until I got. So now that's done, Friday, this Friday, um, coming up in a few days time is gonna be the refresh. So there'll be a new triple the offline RNG card. So I'm now gonna wait until Friday to complete the remaining 46 wins, which shouldn't be too bad. And I'm also gonna wait until Friday to complete the remaining 222 games of triple threat offline, which may well be the death of me. So good progress though, very much good progress. Down here, not really touching anything because I haven't had the time. Haven't even got the Heatwave pack yet. Um, that is about it, to be fair. As for the spotlights, yeah, the new stuff. I am going to have to do it at some point, obviously, because we're going to need the cards. This, do I have to do this? Eh, it's three Hoff badges. I mean, you don't you don't mind it, do you? And then also the NBA Finals gives you one Hoff badge, but then just 15 tokens. So nothing too crazy there. So yeah, good progress offline. Online, today, the journey began in triple threat online co-op and in the first game we got one of the rush equal chance packs and in the very second game out pops the dharma rick smiths now i was gonna have to play co-op until either 50 wins because that's all you need to get the card uh, mitch richmond or the rng card two games in we get the rng card unreal but we only need 50 wins in that so we're already, you know, like just under a third of the way there. So that is going to be a doddle. Unlimited has not yet begun because we only need 6,000 points of Artist Gilmore. And again, might as well wait until Friday now for when the refreshed RNG card gets put in there. So basically, after Friday, all hell breaks loose. After Friday, it's complete unlimited, complete clutch time, complete trip of the offline. Get another ring. We are at three rings right now. We're up to date on this, which is brilliant. That was the on Friday, it opens up again, so we'll have another one to do. Um, so yeah, all hell will break loose on Friday. I will have three weeks to play this game like an absolute madman, like I already am, to be fair. Oh, we got an Eclipse pack from Co-op. Be yow, you won't. It'd be a nice little pick-me-up 2k, it really would. That, that's, that's not what I was looking for, but at least it's 2,000 MT, I suppose. So yeah, that is where we are at right now. Um, so over the next couple of days, I think I think I probably will just complete co-op because I feel like in 6,000 points, which is going to be the equivalent of around 30 wins, I think. In 30 wins, I would hope I can get the RNG card. And if I don't, then we just go back into co-op until we got the card. So then we're just going to get co-op done before Friday, then do unlimited, then clutch time offline, then triple the offline. And surely, it's surely... In 46 games there, and then 222 games here, we can get the RNG offline card. And uh, that will see us looking really good, because here we are. This is this is really nice. So, Alan Houston is your triple offline. Mitch Richmond is co-op, 50 wins, Doddle. Zion nearly there, Doddle. That's clutch offline, over halfway there. And our Gilmore, we have obviously got to start. And I am going to be building, and I know this team is already pretty damn nice, we are going to be building like an actual ridiculous, dumb broken, best team in the game team. So we are going to be picking up point guard Nikola Jokic. We are going to be picking up Yao Ming again because he's a joke. Maybe we dabble in some Invincibles. Maybe we pick up Shaquille O'Neal, although Shaq is 1 million MT. So I don't know about Mr. O'Neal though. That's maybe a little bit too, it's not expensive. I've got 8 mil, but you know, it's, it's a lot of money to put out. Tracy, we don't really need Tracy when we have got Terry Deshinga. Taco's just a joke, so I kind of want to keep Taco, Taco around. Um, but then Bol Bol, you know, Bol, Bol Bol probably needs to come through, doesn't he? Where is he? He is here. Bol Bol probably needs to come through. So, yeah, we are going to splash out, build an absolute dumb god squad before we go into Unlimited. And then I think we're looking really good. I'm, I'm really feeling on top of everything that this season has to offer. I feel like we've broken the back of most game modes, uh, which is really nice. We've broken the back of the, um, you know, domination stuff that I had to do. You know, I've still got two cards left here. But in terms of reward cards, it's just two dominations, three agents, you know, there's still four from uh, play now I can do, which is uh, a long time. And this MJ from the MJ challenges. Then it's just his Cade, 
which again, we're making good progress towards now without even playing the game, which is the best thing I can do. The Sean Kemp is the only card in this game that I physically cannot get. Everything else I can get, it just takes a lot of time, but I physically can't get Sean Kemp. And then you can't get any of these spot cards. You can only get the ones that I've got. You can't get any of the rest of those. Here, it's just a card you can buy. And then obviously season six cards, so I am missing a lot of season six cards. You might be thinking, well, if you're missing all of these, you're never gonna be able to get first. You're gonna be miles away. Again, yes, but the collector level should end when season eight hits. And what happens in season eight? Well, in season eight, it's been two seasons since season six. And that means season six cards will go in the token market. So we'll be able to buy Bradley Beal for probably 250 tokens. Franz Wagner, 250 tokens. Short Limited will probably be a thousand. Jerry Lucas, hopefully just 250 as well. And then the Dark Matters will most likely be 1,000 tokens each, which is obviously a little bit expensive, but we will be able to lock in, uh, you know, every set if we need to, to get the tokens. So that season six will sort itself out. So these are the ones that are really important and we're actually doing a brilliant job of it. So I'm very, very happy with that. And I was very happy on Friday because we opened packs for Heatwave. Wasn't opening it for Heatwave, more opening it for the Invincible cards. We didn't get an Invincible card, but we did get the next best thing, which was big boy, seven foot four Ralph Sampson. Right now, 55K, 68. I don't know what he is right now. He's down a little bit. But we actually pulled one in the first five minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. And we had some Hoff badges to use. Um, so he comes standard with 35. We managed to add 13, get him to 48. He maxes out at 51. We got him to 48. We were the second badged out one. There was one before us, which was 49 hollow. It probably went for a lot more. But my one actually went for 480k. So pretty good. I spent like three, well, I spent about 400k on packs. Got 480k back. So we actually pretty much broke even on packs while obviously adding, you know, all these guys who are original owner right here. So I think it's a pretty successful pack opening for once. So packs were on our side, which is good news. And we'll, I think we'll do the same thing next Friday as well. With 8 million MT in the bank, uh, I am looking to pick up a few cards. Not a lot of cards. Because again, we've still got over three weeks. And we did do like a big sell-off of, of cards, you know, not too long ago. And I do think prices are going to continue to tumble as more and more cards get released. More and more Invincibles get released. But some of these are, are already nice and cheap. Like a Clay is, is 25k. It's Jalen Brown's probably dirt cheap. Jalen Brown's probably like 10k. So there are a few that we can pick up. But the fact that we've got 8 million MT in the bank. And we are at 2,948 cards. That is a really really good place to be and uh, yeah if you guys don't see a video just know i am still working and you come through on twitch and you can watch that work uh live but we are working it is intense there is so much to do obviously these spotlights will be another 30 cards it's one card a day that is another 30 cards we do need to get through these they're about 45 minutes per time it's four triple threat games and then a full game but of course the full game actually isn't a bad thing because it's only on pro difficulty and we can probably use the shades of guys to get their evos going. So I'm kind of okay with it. And even the domination, I could probably take the shades of guys into these games of domination. I probably need to play a little bit. You know, they're not the best teams in the world, but yeah, annoyingly, you can't AFK the whole thing. So yeah, that's a little update on the account right now. The collect to glory is it's it's alive, it's well, it is intense. Uh, we will have Zion in the next few days pretty easily. And I'm actually really excited to try this Zion card because I think he could actually go into a main lineup. You know, we could put Terry at the two. It'd probably be Jokic at the one, Terry at the two, Zion at the three, maybe Ball Ball at the three and Zion off the bench. Taco, Yao. By the way, this Dikembe, absolute god. Genuinely incredible. Love that card. 10 out of 10. Uh, and then maybe we, we you know, scoop some of the other uh, Invincible cards. Obviously, I would, you know, in an ideal world, I wouldn't mind getting myself a Minute Bowl. However, however, Yao Ming is still 2 million MT. And Jokic is still a million MT. And Bol Bol is still 2 million MT. And MJ, well, MJ is not actually that much. But the other ones are just obscene. 
absolutely mental. Tim T is about half a mil, and Ben Simmons is pushing a mil. So just just mental, absolutely mental. So I'd love Mooney Bowl, but no can do. But if you've used any of these absolute top tier players and invincibles, let me know down below, because over the next couple of days, we will make a big old purchase. And it's going to be fun. So I hope you guys are enjoying the ride. It is going to be a ride. It is going to really ramp up over these next couple of weeks. It's getting towards the end. It's getting, this is where it counts. And I'm putting in the work. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. And peace.